Alright, what do we got going on? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Do not do it, I'm bitch! Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I'm keeping an eye on her. I mean, I should probably. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Just Louise. Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Encourage, take a look, it's busted. Um, no, take a look, dude, dude. You need to be able to see what's going on. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. That's probably going to get shit in trouble because he's going to be super mad at them and then we're not going to have a good talk with anybody. But, uh-uh. Nope, nope. Gotta be at least aware of what's going on there. Maybe they were just making up, right? Check phone, read book. Let's check my phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab Snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, I can actually aim it! Kapow! Oh! <laughs> Great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah. This is everything I've wanted in a video hey. game. Oh, dodge! Oh, snap. Be the master of a snowball fight! Oh, hey, look, there's the guidance bird. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information. Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Okay, I don't want to hit the bird. You don't want to disturb nature, after all. Yeah, here you go. Whoa! Oh. Right. One, two, three. And then what? Oh, oh. Two more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Yes! Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Kiss Mike, grab Snowball. GRAB SNOWBALL! Ah! Oh ho ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay, we got creepy music going on, and the place is really dark. I want to move it along. Oh, hey, more people! Mm, hopefully a friend! <laughs> oh, hi, psychiatrist. Things have moved along. There's a little bit of lighter atmosphere. Except for in your fucking place, apparently. Seems 
who hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Well, it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, I watch a lot of movies and read a lot of horror stories. Men worry me. Women worry me. Neither worry me. I don't give a shit about either of these. Fuck. Uh... Both of them can be pretty conniving, both of them can be pretty chill. Hmm... If I think about the context of the story... Nope, things are still pretty even. And we'll go with this one. See what happens. Yo, men. Killer men. Okay. Crowds scare me. Planes scare me. Planes don't scare me. Planes, pff, planes are fine. I'm not even really too worried about crowds unless I'm in a really creepy place. Let's see. I fear heights. I fear drowning. I would be terrified of that image on the left, but I'm not entirely scared of heights. I'm scared of standing on the edges of buildings looking down as if I'm about to fall. There's a difference. And, um, as a human who doesn't like to die, I also kind of don't want to drown, but I don't fear it exactly. Snake or rats? Uh, rats mean plagues and death. Snakes mean... Well, a rattlesnake can kill you, so... Nah. Fuck that snake. I think it pretty much shows everything on the left. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. Ooh. Guns are dangerous, but they're not scary. Knives, on the other hand, get a little bit more personal. So I'm gonna do that one. Oh, boy. I fear cockroaches. I don't fear cockroaches. They just wig me out and I want to kill them all. That's not exactly fear. That's, I guess, killer instinct. Hmm. But I'm not super scared of snakes. I've petted snakes before. Snakes are chill. Oh. Oh. Okay, I fear scarecrows, clowns scare me. Well, I, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure out stuff here. So, I think the game might be using these to fuck with me. What if they change the story of the game so that way if I choose clowns, a clown dude's gonna come and haunt me. And if I choose scarecrows, a dude in a scarecrow thing is gonna fuck with me. I'm not scared of clowns though, so scarecrows it is. Ooh, gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Scrows, <laughs> crows are annoying, not scary. <laughs> Whenever I look at a bird, any type of bird, and they're just like they just look at you. I don't know. Something inside me goes, man, fuck this bird. I don't give a shit about this bird. I'd actually like to mess with them. I love chasing them. So we're gonna go with the pile of guts disgusts me. Hi. Did that startle you? Not Sorry. really. You're doing very well. Dumping those. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, be fast rather than thinking. Fine, let's do this. Uh, spiders versus cockroaches. Fuck spiders. Definitely. I don't find them creepy, but I definitely don't like them. Uh, do I like- or I don't fear needles. Fucking not really. Gore. Don't make me look at you. I'm trying to do this speedy, buddy. Uh, zombies scare me? Fuck no, zombies don't scare me. I, wanna, I would love a zombie apocalypse so I can shoot them and then hopefully not die myself. I'd probably die myself, but whatever. Okay. I fear dogs? That, that's a wolf. That ain't a dog. <laughs> We're gonna go with the gore. Uh, storm scare me? Nope. I'm so sorry if this game ends up just having a shitload of gore because of my decisions Very here. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders. 
Scarecrows. And awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. All right, Doc. I didn't really actually find that all that enlightening. None of the things you made were actually that scary to me. I found that barn more intimidating than any of the choices you put for me. I just don't like isolation in dying previously. It's been like five minutes. Don't you guys think this is a little bit- Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Well, you know, we're probably gonna have a little bit of jewel like boy. It's bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Hey, it's Josh! He joined us! Complex, thoughtful, and loving. And anyways, I was gonna say, we're probably gonna have a little bit of drama with Emily, Mike, and Matt? Oh boy. That's my own fault. I really could have, to be honest, again, I think maybe Emily and Mike were just hugging it out because, hey, look, we ended off on bad terms. We're making this up. They didn't kiss or anything on screen. They just hugged, which was, uh, could lead to things, but eh. So Josh is complex, thoughtful, and loving. And he lost two sisters last year, so I don't trust him. He's probably unhinged and not showing it. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it's so good to see you. What's up with him? This guy yo, must yo, love yo. winter getaways. Yeah, moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Uh, gossip. Matt and Emily. I'm gonna gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. <laughs> oh, we don't even have a choice in it? Like, we're actually gonna legitimately try to break into his own place? Okay. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Confident. Nice being back. It's weird being back. I'm gonna say it's nice being back. Um, let's be honest. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Well, hey, we were able to combine and be honest with each other there. We both feel creeped out by this place. So we're curious. We've decreased in our honest, charitable, funny, brave, and romantic things. Wow, really? What did I do wrong? <laughs> okay. So, let me- alright, let me look at the butterfly effect. The solo discretion. Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope, and so, because of that, Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. So wait, do these connect together? 
Because I can flip this one, but I can't do the other one. Chris was happy to see Sam. Chris continued to trust Sam. Okay, all right, all right. I really shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have shown <laughs> Matt the thing, but I don't know. I don't consider a hug to be that bad. But they were in a relationship together, so I could see that. All right. Hey, guys, just taking a leave. Oh, hey. Hold on. I'm going to look at this totem. I probably missed a few in the other one, the other chapter. Oh! I'm losing my fingers? Dude! That is, uh... That is a harsh thing to start this chapter off with. Fuck. Hey, Matt. What's up? Matt. Been a while. Rough season, huh? Yeah. Something like that. So, you and him. How you doing? Nope, we're gonna be friendly. Hey, you okay, man? Some people, you know? You think you know them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, everything's gonna be bad here. Is this Emily? No, I think it's Sam. Yep. So, is he Nash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. How's, uh, how's she doing? She's fine. Why? No reason. <laughs> Alright, Sam knows what's up. Although I'm sure it's probably pretty obvious. Josh, why don't we talk? Have a friendly chat. How are you doing? These things are so indiscreet, or like kind of discreet. Just hidden off in the corner. You can mistake them as like a random stick in the woods. But nobody died in the last chapter, so that's nice. I should speed up. Whoa! Buddy! I'm eyeing her up. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Protest, cut it out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Mmm. You chill your shit, buddy. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. <laughs> yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Uh, okay, buddy. I mean, you know each other, so, eh, it could happen. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. That was kind of a weird one. <laughs> I, so I'm i really suspicious of Josh. Into my parents' lodge, bud. Well, I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Well, I mean, we could look at all the windows and stuff. Oh, look, we have an axe. Hmm. Oh, it's missing, actually. Clue found. Axe holder. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I hope these aren't, like, a sequential thing. Because I missed a couple of clues already. A wall-mounted holder that should contain an axe, but the axe is missing. Oh... I wonder what happened there. I wonder if I could have moved. Uh, Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside, where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge. Nope. Got an app that can get you laid. Well, actually, dude, you don't. The answer <laughs> is that you don't. I I mean, there's a possibility. An app can do many things. Anyways, let me just look at the, the people's names. Um, okay, we have... 
Ashley. Ashley is the chick at front. I think... Okay, yeah. So, Ashley, I wonder if we could have used the binoculars to see anything else, like a clue or something. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. But what if I want to, like, look around the environment some more, Josh? Gosh.